hey guys thanks for checking out my youtube channel my name is Mathis and today I'm here to do a mini review I'm reviewing The Flying Man by Rupa Faruqi this is her fifth novel which was published in 2012 this is my first time reading anything by this author you guys probably know her from her first novel Bitter Sweets however I did not read Bitter Sweets so I decided to read The Flying Man is because um, I was in the mood for something very fun and lighthearted, so I decided to go with that one. Let me give you guys a brief synopsis of the story. The story is centered around this Pakistani man who goes by the name of Mikhail. He floats from job to job and he considers himself very handsome, very charming, and he enjoys jet setting around the world. Later on throughout the story, he falls into gambling and into illegal problems and he is on the run. Let's talk about the writing first. Now the paragraphs in this book were very long. I mean I feel like I was reading an unpublished manuscript. I mean there was a lot of editing that needed to be done in this novel. So it really killed the reading experience for me. So yeah. Let's talk about the characters. The characters in this book were very aloof and very distant. Um, I found mostly all the characters to be very standoffish. Even the protagonist, he was very um, distant and shallow. So, you know, it was really hard for me to really to sympathize with the character and to see where he was coming from. In some ways, he came across a little ADD in some sense because he kept changing his alias. I feel like he was going through some self-identity crisis and it just seemed like he was just all over the place. In a way he came across very immature and afraid to grow up. So yeah. And uh, the only person that I really sympathized in this novel with was the son. He was the only uh, person, the, the only character I really sympathized with that had a little bit of sense. Um, so yeah, uh, so the characters in this book weren't very likable. So let's talk about the setting. So the lead character, he goes to China, he goes to Paris, he goes to London, he goes to Rome, he goes to America, he goes to um, Spain. I hope I, did I say Spain? But he goes everywhere. So the author really failed to capture the essence of these cultures. I mean, just because you placed in a croissant and black coffee doesn't mean he's he's in Paris or he's in uh, Spain or you know so I feel like the author really did not do her research when it came to these places I mean she did a little research but I just didn't feel like he was actually at these places so yeah overall guys uh, it was just an okay read it was fun therefore I give this book two and a half stars. I would recommend this book to those who are looking for something that is fun and something to pass the time. This book reminded me of Catch Me If You Can by Leonardo DiCaprio. I don't know if you guys remember that movie uh, where Leonardo is on the run and he is a counterfeiter and all that stuff. So this book reminded me of that movie but with a South Asian twist. So Yes, that is it guys. That's my review of The Flying Man. Let me know what you thought of this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you all later. Alright, bye.